now everyone thinks I look like an elementary school kid. Or I would like to think so. <laughs> so today is not really a video about Korea or Korea's culture, but I like recently went to a izakaya recently. And izakaya is like a bar where you like hang out, eat sort of like Japanese tapas and small dishes and then drink. But for the first time in my life, I tried out, I tried out something called beef tataki. And it's like seared beef on the edges, but inside it's still rare. Really sliced thinly and you eat it with like lemon flavored soy sauce called ponzu. And I fell in love with it and it felt super healthy and fresh because it was just meat and vegetables. So I really wanted to make it at home. So I got this! So I realized to make beef tataki or have that kind of like barbecue flavor, I need a gas torch. And I've never in my life used it before. I'm super, super scared because I've got the gas. And I'm supposed to do this, but I'm a bit scared because this is just like gas in the air and I might sniff it and that would be the last thing. In all Korean homes, you'll see a lot of these because we always have Korean barbecue at home. So we always have this Bhutan gas with us with the gas burner and we have Korean barbecue at home. So in every household, you'll have this. And I know this is nowhere near the beef tataki I tried. Um, this was the best thing I could make out of the really cheap meat I got from E-Mart. After searching, after I got this really cheap meat, was that beef tataki is made from sirloin, which is, I don't really know my beef parts, but apparently sirloin is like the, this part, this part. <laughs> but, what I bought, which was cheap because I got two packs for like Mani Chonon, which was like $12, um, is oyster blade. Um, in Korean, it was Puchesai, and Puchesai apparently in English is oyster blade. And it's like another part of the shoulder or some part of the front. Like, I'm really not sure about my beef parts. But anyway, I made the best out of it. It's now like stuck to the plate. <laughs> But I'm hoping that I can torch only the top part so like the top part's crispy and the bottom part's still a bit rare so I still get that beef tataki uh, texture. And with the gas burner, I'm hoping to get that kind of roasted flavor. Wait, wait, let me tie my hair. Oh, I'm a cooking shoe. I need to tie my hair. Don't want to like, don't want to go viral on YouTube with burnt hair. And half of my head going bald. I also got this from Emad, and it was like pretty cheap. It was like 6,001. Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions so I don't burn my place down. Okay, shake it. Do you hear it? So there's some gas in it. Just turn it right, but the arrow says this way. That's not my right. What? Is my right? Why is not my right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Put it in. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's this like lever part and there's this like this part that has a hole, so I'm supposed to fix it in like that. That's good. Okay, let's see. It's on! It's on! Oh, do I need fire to ignite this? This is scary. Okay, ready? I'm just gonna open the window just in case there's too much gas. Okay, here it goes. I can hear the gas. It's getting seared so well. And I can sort of like 
I can smell the barbecue flavor. Oh, woo. <laughs> I feel so empowered right now. Oh my god, look how... Plate's hot. Oh, it actually smells super good. Look how it turned out. Oh my god. Super happy how it turned out. <laughs> it worked. You know, in Korea, there's like this funny saying: if you play with fire, uh, you're gonna wet the bed that night. I don't know why. Ta-da! Okay, I came with the onions and also the fresh salad. I'm missing the ponzu sauce. I'm gonna put the onions in here. I still can't believe the gas torch work. Oh my gosh. Okay. Put one. Put some in. So then it sort of sits in the console and gets sweet all the time. And get a nice. Ooh. Oh my god, I feel like. I feel like I'm so good at cooking. Woo! And then put some more ponzu dressing on it until everything's sort of sitting there. This is my first beef tataki and it was a success. La! Oh. <laughs> I'll try it now. I'm a little bit scared because this isn't even the right beef part. But <gasps> wasabi. Okay, so back with the wasabi, which is the final touch. And how I saw it in the restaurant was they like put the wasabi on one side so you can like have it with the beef tataki together. I'm actually not sure if it's safe for me to <laughs> eat this beef because um, they said it's refrigerated beef. I'm not sure if it's okay to eat it half raw. So I'm gonna get one meat. Nicely tossed, thanks to Claudio. And on the sides, raw. I really don't like Okay. And then put some salad on it. Uh, put some of the onion, we marinated. Like that. A lot of onions. Onions, good for you, everybody. And a little bit of wasabi. Maybe a lot of wasabi. I like wasabi. Especially when you have like a flu, if you eat a lot of wasabi, it's like you can, like you can smell again and breathe again. So I always like to eat wasabi when I'm suffering from a cold. Here it goes. Mm. Mm. I feel a bit insecure eating it. But, taste-wise, it's really good. Like, I wish this video was 4D so or 5D so you can smell this and eat this because this actually really tastes like the one I had at the izakaya last time. Mmm! It's very chewy because it's a little bit raw. Come on. It still has the barbecue flavor. Like, the roasted flavor you get from the torch. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little first time using a gas light, first time making beef tataki video, had nothing to do about Korea, <laughs> but just like a cute fun vlog. If you guys like this video, please thumbs up and like it <laughs> and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my other videos. Bye.